I'm Paul DeGarabedian, Senior Media Analyst for Comscore, and this week it's a spotlight on Baz Luhrmann. What an amazing filmmaker. You may ask, why is Paul doing this? Well, because Elvis is doing great business, and when it opened on June 24 with $31 million, a lot of people said, oh, it should have opened bigger. Well, guess what? It's at $122 million and counting at the domestic box office. That's nearly four times its opening weekend. That multiple means people are loving the movie, the word of mouth is great, and it's just a great time in the theater. So keep going out and supporting Elvis. We need more films like that. But I wanna look back at Baz's career a little bit, and I'll do it rather quickly, because he's only got six movies in his entire career that were released in theaters. And we go back to 1993 with Strictly Ballroom, a film that really started giving indications of this great filmmaker's creativity. And that film opened in just 401 theaters to $147,000, went on to earn 11.8 million. But it was really with 1996's Romeo and Juliet where Baz Luhrmann really, I think, got on everyone's radar that film was so good. It opened with 11.1 million, starred Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio in star-making roles. The film went on to earn $46 million domestically. Now in 2001, Moulin Rouge opened, and that film actually opened in only two theaters. It was a limited release to about $167,000. In weekend three, it earned over 13 million. That was its first wide release. The film made a huge splash went on to earn $57.4 million domestically and almost $180 million worldwide. After that was Australia, that was released in 2008 to 14.8 million domestically, earned over 50 million at the domestic box office and almost 210 million worldwide. Now, of course, 2013, Leonardo DiCaprio returning in front of the camera with Baz Luhrmann in The Great Gatsby, which gave Baz Luhrmann his best all-time opening weekend with $50 million. The film wound up with $145 million domestically and $353 million worldwide. That's a massive global hit, really made its mark. But then we had to wait from 2013 to 2022 when Elvis opened and now it's still going strong. So let's give it up for Baz Luhrmann. I hope we don't have to wait another 10 or 11 years for his next movie, but Elvis certainly a great experience in the theater. So go check it out. I'm Paul DeGarabedian, Senior Media Analyst for Comscore, and I'll see you at the movies.